Hello everyone and welcome to the world of football on YouTube where we are we are again. <laughs> we are again doing our weekly NFL picks. It is week three. I am your host, Adam Snow, and sitting across the table from me, as always for these picks, is the lovable teddy bear who is a Lions fan, Randy Snow, founder of the world of football dot com. Thank you. You're I welcome. <laughs> You're welcome, welcome, welcome. He even showered for this event, everybody. Isn't that great? First time in a week, so. Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> no wonder all those fans at the Lions game were yelling at you. Hey, we gave us some extra room, didn't it? We gave you a bar of soap. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's review real quick how we did last week, starting with you over there. And uh, don't worry, we double-checked this week. He did everything right. The numbers check out. Uh, Randy, last week you went 7-9, and nine, mm. as you did the week before. Yeah. So consistency. I'm stuck in a rut. <laughs> consistency is important. <laughs> That makes you 14 and 18 on the season. Um, and then on my side of things, I ended up going 9 and 7. Not too shabby. That puts me at 15 and 17 for the year. I just need a couple games to get back above 500. But uh, this past week, we did have some people chime in on, uh, yes, we did. on the comments section of the uh, last video. And uh, we'd like to thank Aaron, Mike, and Liz, who all gave their picks. And uh, Aaron, you went 8 and 8. Uh, Mike, you pretty good at 10 and 6 and Liz well you might as well take one of our seats because you went 11 and 5 <laughs> maybe you and Mike could get together and be the new world of football duo because clearly you guys did better than us last week and we applaud you so yeah, it doesn't take much to do better than us it no, it really doesn't <laughs> um but so with that we're going to move on and it's week 3 and a bunch of craziness uh yeah. man who saw some of the games we got wrong happening and it's just that's what football it is and makes it great. It's the unpredictability. It's the unpredictability that makes it so much fun. And also, since I went first last week, I believe, you get to start off this week Fine. picking the Thursday night game, which is the Pittsburgh Steelers traveling to Cleveland to play the Brownie in the center of the field and the Browns. Boy, right off the bat, this is a tough one to pick. It really is. Uh, and yeah. and an AFC North matchup. Yeah. Um, you know what? I am going to go with the Steelers in this one. Really? Yeah, I mean, this this is a tough one to pick because uh, I think both both teams are going to bring their A game, and uh, but, I, but I'm just giving a slight edge to the Steelers. Well, I'm going to give a slight edge to the home team Cleveland Browns. They got really disappointed last week by giving up 14 points in the last minute and a half of that game. Give me the Browns to bounce back and get the victory with the Brownie in the middle of the field. Okay. All right, the New Orleans Saints travel down to Carolina to play the Panthers, and uh, I think the Panthers are not great right now, so I'll take the Saints to get a win on the road. Boy, I want to pick Baker Mayfield so bad, but you know what? I think I'm going to have to go with the Saints also. Just a little better team right now. Yeah, they are. Uh, the Houston Texans travel up to Chicago to play the Bears. Speaking of two great teams, how can you possibly pick between them? Are these teams both 0-2? Uh, the Bears are 1-1, one and, one, and okay. the Houston Texans are 0-1-1. and one. Okay. Well, being at home, I'm going to give a slight edge to the Bears, so give me Chicago. Yeah, man, it's hard. I mean, the Bears got embarrassed on Sunday Night Football. It is a home game. Uh but unless I think if, unless there's some bad weather, I'm gonna take the Houston Texans to Ooh. steal one on the road. I know I don't feel great about it. I think <laughs> I don't feel great about it, but you know something just tells me you know what the Texans are gonna go one one and one. Right. All right. Uh, speaking of teams with a tie, the Kansas City Chiefs are traveling to play a team with a tie in Indianapolis. That would be the Colts, mm -hmm. and uh, the Colts look real bad, unfortunately, yeah. which surprises me because. The Colts I, I were like a sleeper team for me this year, and they've not lived up to it. 0-1-1. I think they go 0-2-1 as the Chiefs get the victory there. I can't argue with that. The Chiefs are looking good. The Indianapolis, I don't know what the heck's going on there, so take the Chiefs. Now, in probably the game of the week, uh, I'm calling it right now, the Buffalo Bills and the Miami Dolphins play against one another. Who do you got in that one? I'm going to take the Bills on the road to beat Miami. While it is hard to bet against the Bills, and I will bet with the Bills. I'm picking the Bills. For the <laughs> record, I do think this is a make-or-break game for the Dolphins. It would not shock me maybe if the Dolphins steal this one, but I think this is a, a big measuring stick for that Miami Dolphins team. Mm. All right, then the Detroit Lions travel to Minnesota to play the Vikings, a game that a week ago I would have said there is no chance in heck that the Detroit Lions walk away with a victory here. 
And I think the Detroit Lions walk away with a victory here. Oh, I'm oh. I after watching what the Vikings did on Monday night, I think it could be a close game. I'm not saying Detroit's going to walk away right. from this, you know, pretty handily. I think it'll be a high scoring game. I think both teams are going to th- put up a lot of points, but I think somehow the Lions get that one stop that they need and walk away with a victory. I think you're right. I think uh, Detroit's going to win this game, and, and I think the. Uh, uh, the Vikings are going to walk off the field at the end with uh, some bite marks on their kneecaps. Oh, boy. Um, we're going to just move on from that one. As the Baltimore Ravens travel to New England to play the Patriots, who do you got in that one? Man, all these games are so close now. You know, hey, Early it's... in the season, all these teams are evenly matched. Until the injuries start piling up, it's yeah. real hard to you know, pick what the big deciding factor is going to be yeah, in a well, game. A lot of these teams, you know, you've, you've seen them real good, you've seen them real bad, so you really don't know what to pick, and they're... They're all about the same, but you know what? Uh, give me the Ravens on the road. Yeah, I'm taking the Ravens as well. I mean, after being, you know, letting up that big lead to the Dolphins, I don't see them doing that two weeks in a row. Lamar is going to put on another clinic. Hmm. Um, the Cincinnati Bengals travel to New York to play the Jets, and boy, oh boy, the Bengals, what have happened to them? <laughs> They've had a tough stretch here, and for the New York Jets, just the opposite. I mean, the Jets have had a couple of good bounces their way. Now they're one and one. You know, heck of a finish last week. So, you know what? Darn it, give me the Jets at home. I don't know if I've ever picked the Jets to win, <laughs> but I'm doing it this week for my friend Eric out there, if you're watching, uh, picking the Jets this week. Uh, Cincinnati's got to get something going. I'm going to take Cincinnati this week. Oh, saying they finally get a win. Probably not a bad pick. Um, the Las Vegas Raiders travel to Tennessee to play the Titans that just got embarrassed on Monday Night Football. Who do you got? Um, oh, and the Raiders, who had a big uh, lead uh, as well, get blown up in their face. Hmm. Uh, are we talking the game between the uh, Oakland Raiders and the uh, Houston Oilers? <laughs> Houston Oilers. Wow, another bad <laughs> joke that we simply do not have time for, Randy. Uh, give me the give me the Titans to bounce back. What Ooh, I heck? thought you were picking the Oilers. I was... <laughs> and I would have written it down, and I would have said you got it wrong because the Oilers don't exist. Give me the Titans to bounce back. I, I just don't know about Las Vegas, and they're on the road, so give me the home team Titans. Oh, boy, give me the Raiders on the road. I'll take them. Uh, the Raiders let a lead slip through their fingers. I think that's another thing that, you know, two weeks in a row, they're not going to let that happen. Give me the Raiders. All right, the Philadelphia Eagles. Just write it down. I don't know who they're playing, the Eagles. <laughs> they're playing the Commanders this week. It should be an interesting game. But I think the Eagles have, the Eagles, the <laughs> Eagles have proven they might be the best team in the NFC. Yeah, I'll take Philadelphia also in that game. All righty. And then now you've got the Jacksonville Jaguars taking on the Los Angeles Chargers, or as Dad likes to call them, the San, San Diego, Diego Chargers. Chargers uh, who you got in that one? Um Give me the Chargers at home. Chargers at home. I don't blame you there. Um, I will also... T- well, I guess it depends on the status of one Joseph Herbert. Uh, or Yeah, Herbert. Justin Herbert, not Justin Joe. Herbert. Justin <laughs> Herbert. Um, but, yeah, I guess I'll take the Chargers as well. Uh, but if he's hurt, I actually would think about considering taking the Jags. Mm, maybe. The Los Angeles Rams travel to Arizona to play the Cardinals after a hot game. This one should be interesting. The, the Rams have not been great. The Cardinals have not been great. Something's got to give. So I'm going to stick with the Super Bowl champs for now. I think Matt Stafford, you know, they embarrassed the the Cardinals there last time. I think they could do it again. That defense might be too much for the Cardinals. I'm going to go with the Rams also in that game. Okay. The Atlanta Falcons travel up to Seattle to play the Seahawks. Who do you got in that game? Give me the Seahawks at home. Boy, it, this makes it tough. You know, Battle of the Birds. Mm-hmm. I think the Falcons had you know had a great comeback against the Rams that just didn't get fully realized. The Seahawks got embarrassed down there in San Francisco, but the Seahawks always play good at home. So, yeah, give me the Seahawks to bounce back. Yeah, I just think the Falcons have to fly too far for that game. Uh, flight pun, I like it. Um, uh, the Green Bay Packers on... I guess this isn't the Sunday night game. This is the last 4 o'clock game. The Packers will travel to Tampa to play the Buccaneers. Give me the Buccaneers to embarrass the Packers. Uh, I don't know what it is whenever we see the Packers go down there to Tampa, but the Packers are, never look the same when they're down there. So you're taking Tampa? I'm taking Tampa Bay. <sighs> yeah, me too. This should be an interesting game, though. I mean, Brady versus Rodgers. Yeah, it this... should. 
I'm surprised this isn't the, the Sunday night game. Exactly. It should have been. That's why I was confused for a second. I was like, oh, this is clearly the Sunday night game. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Yeah. Um, all right, but the Sunday night game will be the San Francisco 49ers traveling to Denver to play the Broncos. Interesting because GM of the 49ers is John Lynch, who played for the Denver Broncos for many, many years. Mm. Um, who do you got in that game? Uh, well, that wasn't an interesting fact to me at all. So I I'm think gonna, it's very interesting. I'm going to take San Francisco in that game. Dang it. I... Jimmy G. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy G. With now something to prove. Jimmy G. at the helm and Russell Wilson having some issues there adjusting in Denver. I don't know what's going on. I hope he can get it turned around. But I also will take the 49ers on Sunday night. Mm. Dang, I hate that we're agreeing so much this week. <laughs> but will we agree on this final game? The Monday night game will see the Dallas Cowboys travel to New York to play the Giants. Give me the Giants to go three and zero after this. Man, um, will he do it? Will he do it? Will I, he side with the Giants or will he take man, the Cowboys? I, I, I can't, in good conscience, pick the Cowboys. I'm sorry. Give me the Giants at home. Oh dang! All right, man. We agreed a lot this week. Yeah, only four games did we disagree on. Well, I need a couple of them to start pulling ahead. Yeah. Um. Well, let's see here. Randy, your picks included the Steelers, the Saints, the Bears, the Chiefs, the Bills, the Lions, the Ravens, Bengals, Titans, Eagles, Chargers, Rams, Seahawks, Buccaneers, 49ers, and Giants, while my picks included the Browns, the Saints, the Texans, Chiefs, Bills, Lions, Ravens, Jets, Raiders, Eagles, Chargers, Rams, Seahawks, Buccaneers, 49ers, and Giants. (laughs) Okay. Boy, oh boy, it should, should be another fun slate of games. Where is the comebacks going to come from this week? I cannot wait. It, it is always so much fun. I mean, we predict these games, and we think we we know what the outcome's going to be, and boy, it's always so fun to see something get turned on its head. Like that Ravens-Dolphins game last week. Didn't see that coming. Yeah. There's so many games this week, already in week three, and there's so many games that are just, you know, flip a coin. You don't know. They're they're pretty evenly matched, and, yeah. you know, if this, if this goes one way or another way, and a lot of these teams, win. like, the Eagles look great now, but who knows if they're going to keep that momentum up. Like, yeah. a team could look as bad as the Colts. Maybe the Colts figure it out and get it turned around. That's what's so great about this mm-hmm. league is in a week or two, teams could be vastly different than what they were, mm-hmm. you know, the week before. And that is why I love this game <laughs> oh so much and this league oh so much. Yeah, we got, what is it, uh, six uh, undefeated teams and seven uh, winless teams. I believe right that now. is the number. Um, so yeah, we'll, it's not we'll written down in front of me, but it sounds right. It's on the spreadsheet. Okay. But uh, yeah, so yeah, we'll we'll see how we did uh, next week. Uh, again, if if you want to get in on this, uh, send us your picks in the comments on YouTube. Uh, try to get them to us before the Thursday night game this week, and uh, maybe we'll feature your picks on our show next week. Yeah, uh, let us know, everybody. And uh, if that's all you got, that's all I got. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe, all that junk. Um, the bell notification. Bell notification. You leave know a comment. Yeah, leave a comment if you want. <laughs> Randy loves that. The website is www.theworldoffootball.com. If you want to go see Randy's labor of love that he has put his blood, sweat, and tears into for the last 45,000 years, go do that. Um, anything else? Oh, no. we have a weekly podcast. You forgot to mention that. What's oh. that, Randy? Uh, this week in the world of football. What did we talk about this week, Randy? Uh, guy, we had 55 scores from all different levels of football, college, pro, Canadian. Um, well, Canadian is pro, but yeah, all over the place. We we talked about uh, uh, Herm Edwards getting fired. Gosh, what else did we talk about? So many things. The Monday night uh, numbers kind of came in from yep. the first week of the season. So yep. there's so much we touched on this week, guys, and a nice 52-minute package this <laughs> week. Uh, go over there and check that out. There's a link uh, well, you can just find one on our YouTube or it's anywhere where you can find your podcast. And we continued our discussion on the greatest player nicknames in football history. Yes, we did. Five more great ones this Five week. Five more great about. ones. It was part four. I can't believe part we've four. gotten to part four. Got a couple more, a couple more weeks of this. Right. Then we'll switch to uh, team nicknames. Okay. Sounds good. Go over there and check that out, guys. And until next time, that's been Randy Snow. I've been Adam Snow. Happy picking, and hopefully I did better than Randy, and we'll see you next week. I doubt it. <laughs>